वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम कॉन माई वेलकम यू ऑल मे चैनल केमिस्ट्री द मिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ नेम रिएक्शन और यू कैन से अ नेम रीअरेंजमेंट दैट इज डाइन ऑन फिन रीअरेंजमेंट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो फ्रॉम द नेम ऑनवर्ड्स यू कैन प्रेडिक्ट वट इज गोइंग टू हैपन डाई इन ओन टू फेनो सो दिस थिंग इफ यू कीप इट इन माइंड सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वट इज गोइंग टू हैपन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट मेकैनिज्म ऑफ द रिएक्शन एंड द ड्राइविंग फोर्स फॉर द रिएक्शन and examples i will explain in the next part of this video so let's continue so as i told di in in means double bond okay and on means keto c double bond o in means double bond to phenol we know phenol phenol is nothing but this nucleus benzene with and so this is di bond phenol here okay so Name means it will phenol will be produced from diol through a rearrangement. Okay, and that process is catalyzed by acid. So this is nothing but a acid catalyzed rearrangement. Okay, this is acid catalyzed rearrangement. So fine. So how this reaction will happen so let's go to the mechanism so first it will be protonated in presence of this acid see this lone pair will be protonated now as a background concept if you consider simple carbonyl versus carbonyl attached with double what is the difference we know carbonyl has a resonance means this will go there so o minus C plus this, and if it is attached to this double bond, what happens? This double bond, for example, if it this attached, let's consider about this, O minus C plus, and this is a double bond. Then the double bond can participate in resonance. So what will be the another canonical form? This O minus double bond plus C C. So this indicates that the plus charge. this plus charge which is generated on this carbonyl carbon is delocalized or more stabilized because of the presence of this double bond so consequently we can expect that this carbonyl is more electron rich compared to this for a basic understanding okay and second we know that oxygen has two lone pair so it can act as a base and this carbonyl can uh, so, and this proton can act as a acid for for this reaction and here you can see two di Two two di double bonds are there, so expected the electron density over this oxygen will be higher. So this is simply a acid base reaction. So after protonation, the formal charge will come on oxygen. But as I said, for example, if this is protonated, this is protonated. So this. Uh, this and this is nothing but coming from this so in this way this positive charge is delocalized de so uh, let's give a one canonical form so this bond can come here and it can come so what could be one type of stabilization so let's consider this is r1 and r2 so this is r1 r2 positive charge is here this is oh Another canonical form possible using this double bond. So we are not going into details. And for your better understanding, let's consider this R1 and R2. This R1 equal to R2 equal to CH. It will be easier. If you want to know variety of examples, please come to my next video. Uh, it will be easier for you to understand. So let's so let's give it CH3. fine okay so it will be easier to understand so in the next stage what's going to happen 
So protonation happened and right now after protonation, before protonation also this has a canonical form. So let's draw it here. This is O minus. This, this, methyl, methyl. Plus charge is here. And after protonation also plus charge possible here. So, here. Now, question plus plus charge density is more in which case? Obviously, in this case, more positive charge density is more. Okay? Because of this protonation. So that is the reason because we all know that carbonyl group has this canonical form so that positive charge can come here. So that, due to that concept we can consider the positive charge can come here. Why then this methyl group cannot migrate? Because of this, because of the, because of this positive charge density on this carbon is less compared to after protonation. So that is the reason protonation is essential for this purpose. Otherwise electron deficiency or positive charge density will be less so migration will not be easier. Consequently, what can happen? This methyl group, this methyl group can migrate here. So, after migration, what's going to happen? So, keep it in mind, there was one hydrogen from the previously. So, here, this previous hydrogen, this is the methyl, this is double bond, this is OH, this. And since positive charge was here, methyl group was migrated with bond pair. Bond pair migration. Methyl group is migrated with its bond pair, so consequently positive charge will be generated here. Okay, it is true, this positive charge is also resonance stabilized by using this bond and this. Fine, I agree. But it is it's stabilized and it will be there. Okay, so what can happen? Right now, as we know, you can think about aromatic electrophilic substitution on benzene. Similar type of thing happens in this case. What happens? This proton is abstracted and consequently this bond pair comes here and corresponding phenol derivative is produced. So this is the OH, this is bond here, this is here, so this is and So minus elimination of proton results formation of this phenol derivative. Okay, fine. So the driving force is aromatic gaining of aromaticity. Gaining of aromaticity. Okay, this is the driving force. Let's consider D F. Driving force is the gaining of aromaticity and we know that aromaticity means a stabilization and gaining aromaticity means a huge amount of stabilization. So that is the driving force for this reaction. Okay. But one thing you must keep it in mind. Two factors. One is migratory activity. One is migratory aptitude. And second is the charge at the center after migration. Why I am telling this? Because here you can see both are same. So if it is migrating, positive charge is coming here. So, no problem, but for example, let us consider that in this case, one is CH3 and one is CO2ET. In such case, CO2ET will be migrate because if CO2ET migrates, then positive charge comes here. So, positive charge comes here means this is stable because of this. Apart from that, if we consider the another one. This is OH, this is CO2ET, this is methyl, this is hydrogen, this positive charge is here. This is less stable 
less stable because CO2 it is a withdrawing group. So this factor, please keep it in mind. Two factor, which group is migrated, migratory aptitude, and generally it is observed that allyl groups have better migratory aptitude. But and second is charge. So here little difference we will observe. Similarly, like instead of methyl, if you use phenyl, similar type of thing will also. I will explain this in the uh, example section. But for plus 12 student, I believe this part is enough. But for higher study student, I believe you should obviously see the second example because lots of examples will and lots of chemistry is going to learn. So we have learned today about the mechanism regarding dynamic flow rearrangement with complete explanation. So this is the end of this discussion. If you like my teaching, please subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. And finally, share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort. And finally, thank you all. See you in my next video.